is that what is mean by projectile and projectile motion projectile and projectile motion this is an additional thing in this section so we have to write here projectile okay so we want to know about what is mean by projectile and projectile motion so here i draw a figure such that here is the ground here a body is given with an initial velocity a body is given with an initial velocity so an initial velocity is given so this is the initial velocity u given to the body and then that body is then that body is move under the influence of gravity alone then the influence of gravity alone initially an initial velocity is given to the body and then the body is moving under the influence of gravity alone then that body is said to be projectile and the motion of the body is called a projectile motion we have more topics related to projectile and projectile motion in plus one that is motion in a plane chapter regarding that uh, in that chapter we want to know more about what is the maximum height attained by the projectile what is the horizontal range of the projectile what is the maximum horizontal range of the projectile like that what is the path of the projectile called etc etc so here we want to know about what is mean by projectile and projectile motion what is mean by projectile if a body is given with an initial velocity and then that body is move under the influence of gravity alone then that body is said to be in projectile motion and that type of bodies are called a projectile i just write if a body is given with an initial velocity if a body is given with an initial velocity and then it is move under the influence of gravity alone move under the influence of gravity alone then the motion of the body is called a called a projectile motion and the body is called a projectiles okay so if a body is given with an initial velocity and then that body is moving under the influence of gravity alone then that body is called a projectiles and the motion of the projectile is called a projectile motion what is this path called projectile always occupy the path of a parabola the path of the projectile is a parabola path of the projectile is called parabola the path of the projectile is a parabola in plus one uh, we want uh, uh, we want a simple proof regarding the path of the projectile we want to prove that the path of the projectile is a parabola and what is the maximum height attained by the projectile what is the horizontal range attained by the projectile when we will get the maximum horizontal range that uh, we want to discuss more the topics related to para related to projectile more topics in plus one
here there will be only projectile and projectile motion this is an additional topic projectile and projectile motion if a body is given with an initial velocity if a body is given with an initial velocity and then that body is moving under the influence of gravity alone then that body is said to be in projectile motion and the body is called a projectile and the path of the projectile is always a parabola like this shape path of the projectile is always a parabola okay that's all about projectile and projectile motion that's all about projectile and projectile motion we discussed free fall and acceleration due to gravity now we want to know about what is mean by sorry what is the expression for acceleration due to gravity what is the expression for acceleration due to gravity to derive the expression for acceleration due to gravity g expression expression for g expression for g so what is uh, acceleration due to gravity g expression for g okay so to derive the expression for g consider earth to be a perfect sphere this is earth to be a perfect sphere of radius r and this is the center of the earth and mass f so assuming that the mass is concentrated at the center assuming that the mass is concentrated at the center consider another particle you know, of mass small letter m on the surface of the earth consider another particle on the surface of the earth i didn't mark the radius such that the radius of the particle is neglected as compared to the radius of the earth as we know that the radius of the earth is so much greater than the radius of the particle as comparing with the radius of the earth the radius of the particle is so much less that is very much less that the radius of the particle is neglected so here we consider earth to be a perfect sphere of mass capital letter m and a radius capital letter r assuming that a particle of mass small letter m be on the surface of the earth so as per the universal law of gravitation there is a force of attraction between earth and the object there is a force of attraction between earth and the object so the first point is force of attraction between earth and the object force of attraction between earth and the object f is equal to what will be the force of attraction between earth and the object so as we know that as per the universal law of 